Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Uno Moss episode of the series where we are looking at weird, wacky, and wonderful things within Mario Maker 2. Again, and as always, for those that don't know, Uno Moss levels are typically short levels that showcase things that Nintendo definitely didn't intend to be in this game. Let's go ahead and check some of them out. The first Uno Moss level of the day comes courtesy of this Japanese creator. I don't know what it says, but... I think we're about to have our minds blown. Okay, we have to reach the goal after defeating one Meowser. We have a clear condition. Always good to make a mental note of. Doesn't look like we can go over top, so I guess we'll go in the pipe. And what do we have in store for us? There's Meowser. What? <laughs> what is going on? Meowser is literally frozen. Okay, this is kind of intriguing to see where Meowser's hitbox lies. So we don't really start getting hit from Meowser until right about there. What about the back end? How close can we get before we take damage? Right, right at Meowser's butt. <laughs> it can still, Meowser still takes damage. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. What was the setup? I'm, I'm so intrigued by the setup. But, and when you kill Meowser, his death animation is normal. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, um, what have, over 50 episodes into the Uno Moss series, and I'm still seeing something new. We're absolutely playing this one again, just so I can, if you can see, there's a Meowser, a Conveyor, and then I, I don't, something hits a question mark block, one of those movable question mark blocks. I, I don't know what the other setup is besides that, but it's crazy. Meowser's literally frozen in place, and then it's just literally a matter of mashing to kill Meowser and eventually he dies and and we can <laughs> we can beat the level I, I don't know I can't think of a better way to start today's Uno Moss episode than that the next Uno Moss level we're taking a look at is called crossing the line made by Flint MC we have to reach the goal after defeating at least one Galoomba okay there's a gal So it looks like, okay, let's let's zoom in on the Galoomba down here. Zoom out just enough there so we can see Mario up top. And when we cross this line. Yeah, do you notice the cannon? Is, it's moved just a little bit, but. So I'm guessing there has to be some sort of boo. Wait, what? Is this a hint? Okay, I, I mean, we didn't really need a hint there, but it's nice that it was there, but it's still, it is intriguing. It's very, very, it, you can't see it, it to the naked eye. It's not very visible, but if you zoom in on it, you can see the cannon move just enough. We have another one by Flint MC. This one is called Upwards Spring Tunnel. Oh, with this setup, I'm guessing all I have to do is jump. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome, honestly. How that was, uh, how that was set up. You can jump and then not press anything. Now, I am kind of curious, what happens if I do press something? What if I duck or something like that? Let's try it out. Let's try ducking. It felt like we went way faster ducking. Maybe it was my imagination, but it felt faster. How about another one by Flint MC? This one is called Funky Lava. Now, what makes this lava just so door pipe? I'm gonna guess the pipe is a hint pipe. Okay, let's take the hint pipe. Let's let's see what's in the hint pipe. Hold down in door. 
Why would holding down change anything? Apparently it does, so I'm gonna hold down. Okay, so there's... Oh, you gotta hold down. The okay, apparently you have to hold down the whole time. I don't know what setup is going on underneath the lava for this to work, but... I also don't know how to beat the level. Well, I don't know how to beat the level, but regardless, I'm, I'm still intrigued at what is going on underneath the lava. Another one by Flint. This one is called Glitchy Crouch. Okay, that's... I... I... Oh, the door is the hint. Okay, let's let's try and do it without the door. The hint door, I guess. Oh, never mind. That the pipe is the hint. Okay, I guess we're I guess we're taking the hint. Apparently we're supposed to crouch on. Oh. Oh. Okay, you might not be able to see this if you're not watching on the highest possible quality on YouTube, but right now, Mario is glitching out like crazy. <laughs> oh, that was nuts, okay. I wanna do it again. I wanna see this again. So we fall in between the two launchers, then you duck, and then it, <laughs> it, it, Mario goes absolutely crazy. Oh man, that's so cool. That's so cool. I love that. Next up, we're gonna look at one by Dr. Toad called Yoshi Glitch. I'm assuming this uses the Clawlick Glitch in New Super Mario Brothers. It is indeed the Clawlick Glitch. So you gotta spit into the claw. We got it, got it. And then, well, I, I lost the Claw Glitch Glitch. Even though it shows Yoshi has a pal in his mouth that he doesn't actually. So if we spit, nothing's there. Not sure. Okay. Here we go. Get ready for the super zoomer. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I love the claw lich levels. Give me more of them. If you're wondering how to do it, it's super simple. Oh, yeah. Claw, Pal Block, Yoshi, go crazy. We have another one by Dr. Toad. This one is called Two Neat Glitches. We have to reach the goal without taking damage. Easier said than done, I'm sure. Oh. Oh, we got this glitch. I have not seen this glitch in a while, but if we shoot this exclamation box, it can push us through the thwomp if we do it right. Oh, no. Obviously, I did not do it right. Oh, I think I have to duck, maybe? Oh, no. Maybe I have to be up here. That's it. You have to be right next to the exclamation point box. If, you, if you're landing or waiting near the thwomp, you will die. But if you press it, or if you shoot it right next to... That's how it works. You squirt right on through. Squirt right on through without taking damage. And then we got that one. And there we go. There we go, friends. Like I said, that, that's not a new by any stretch of the imagination. I've seen that a long time ago, but it has been a while since I've last seen it. Next up, we have Just Win made by Shade Kitty, and we have to reach the goal as Frog Mario. Again, easier said than done. Oh... Oh no. Normally if you if you didn't have the frog suit, this would be super easy, but the frog suit completely changes Mario's momentum and the way he jumps. That this is what would be a pretty standard and normal jump becomes really difficult. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. Did I mention Shade Kitty also is a master troll level creator? Oh, I got it first try there. There we go. 
There we go. Much better. Now we have SMB3 Unamas made by RX7Man. And I think, yeah, this is... This Unomas has been around since the beginning of the game. In fact, weird things happened on these white platforms all the way back in the original Super Mario Brothers 3 on the NES. I don't understand, but if we just crouch here long enough, I believe Mario does a little bounce. And I don't know why it does that. To this day, I don't understand if it's intentional, if Nintendo put that in there intentionally. If it is intentional, why is it there? If you know the answer, please let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate some insight. Now we have one by Near Puzzle called Drop It Like It's Cold. We have to reach the goal after hitting two P switches. Well, there's one P switch. Um, do I hit it or take it with me? I feel like I may have done something wrong. I definitely did something wrong. So maybe I'll activate this P-switch out here, then go in. Okay, we've activated both P-switches. Oh, but we can't beat the level. Notice we can't beat the level. And as soon as we, oh! So this is almost like a puzzle moss. Oh, I bet you I understand. I bet you I understand, friends. I think that I, th oh, well, I'm dead now. I'm dead now, but I think that Spike throwing snowballs is there on purpose. So let's see what happens. Spike's gonna throw a snowball into the back of us. And what happens when we do that, when it hits us? That's gonna work. That's gonna work. Mario dropped the P or the POW. I just realized, have I been saying POW block for P-Switch this whole time? I don't think I want to be crouching. I think I just want to be holding it normally. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's so cool how it works. That is an interaction I had no idea about either. By Spike throwing a snowball, hit you in the back. You drop the P-switch and go right through it and can beat the level. Very cool. Next up, we have another Japanese Uno Mas level. I'm not sure what we're about to see, but gird up, brace yourself. Okay, that is... <laughs> okay. Wow, that, that's very trippy. That is extremely trippy. That's a lot of cat paws. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was... <laughs> That was pretty wild, honestly. <laughs> Next up, we have another Uno Moss from the creator of the last Uno Moss level. I don't know what this says, but from what I saw from the thumbnail, I think this is yet another older Uno Moss level that we haven't seen in a long time. At least I haven't seen in a long time. I honestly thought this had been patched out. Looking at this in a little more detail, what's going on here is with this setup, if you don't throw the pow block, you get stuck. So what you have to do is throw, if you throw the pow block too early, you get stuck. Only by throwing the pow block at the exact right moment, right in the middle, you go through the clear pipe, end up on top of the clear pipe, and are able to beat the level. Next up, we have briefly changed footwear made by War Spy King, and we have to reach the goal as Link. This one had a really low clear rate, uh, under 3%, and I'm understanding why. So we need to s somehow swim across there and touch the goal. Ha! So do I need to... Hmm, we need to jump over the spike enough to avoid dying to the bottom spike, but if we jump too high, 
we hit the top spike, so... How do I do that? Briefly, I feel like the, the answer is in the name itself. Briefly change footwear. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That didn't work. I feel like that might, however, work if I do it right. Potentially. No, maybe that won't work. Maybe that's maybe that's not it. The only way I can think of getting off the ground is, you know, running into a wall. And, you know, Link gets pushed off the ground. But there's no walls here to do this with. I'm trying to think of all of Link's moves. We have the down thrust. We have a shield. We have our sword. We have arrows. We have bombs. And how can we get over this without taking damage? You know, if you do a small... If you try to do a small jump... There's no small jump because there's water. Well, friends, this is looking like another one I'm going to need help from you on because I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to do it. I want to know, but I, I can't seem to grasp the concept. But I really want to know, so if you know how to beat this one, please share with the rest of the class and let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, Link will be stuck not being able to beat this level forever. Let's try and get redemption here with another war spy Uno Mas called Just Boost. Okay, what am I boosting? Just Boost. So wait, how did, I don't even know how I got a key. I still have to jump to boost. You can't, you can't not jump to boost. Like you're, you. I'm still getting a key. I, I didn't, I didn't press jump there and I still got the key. Oh, maybe I hold jump in as the level starts. This is another level I don't know. I can't figure it out how we're intended to beat this. As soon as you swim, you get a key and you can't win. But if you let go, if you walk off the edge holding boost, you boost right into the wall. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. This is another one, my friends. If you know the solution to this, you know, Moss, I want to know how to beat it. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know, and I don't know how. I give up. I give up. I, give up. I just, uh, if you know how to do it, let me know. I'd love to do a follow-up on this one if we can figure it out. Next up, we have Unamas Clip made by CYS. We have to reach the goal as Super Ball Mario. How do we beat? Tell me this is one I can beat. We have to reach a Super Ball Mario. Um, how how am I? How am I doing that? How what? Oh, okay. Well, that's a start. That's a start. We got the Shelmet, which is. Weird in and of itself. How do I do the rest of this thing? Oh, I bet you I have to. So much weird stuff just happened there. Oh great, probably another War Spy King level that I can't beat called Unequip the Iron Boots. Oh, we gotta figure out how to. We gotta figure out how to. That's not right. <laughs> Still didn't. Nope, I didn't time that right. I don't even know if that's right, to be honest, but it feels like it should be right, maybe? Hmm. The world record for this is one second. I don't 
know how I beat that. <laughs> Truly, I don't. I was just mashing buttons trying to figure out how to beat it, and we somehow beat it. I'm gonna look at Shroomy Box made by Mind My Cat up next. All right, Shroomy Cat, we have to reach the goal as Buzzy Mario. Which we have to, so we have to somehow get that helmet. There is a pipe. Oh, I wonder if the mushroom will now be able to get the shelmet. Let's see. Let's take a look and see if that's what happens. That is what happens. Why it does that? Hitboxes are weird, man. Next up, let's look at Heavy Clown Car Jank made by Munches. Very intrigued to see what this one's all about. Nice little 50 bagger for the fans. Thank you. Heavy clown car jank. Am I not supposed to? Oh. Oh no. I think I ruined it. I think I ruined it. <laughs> Can we? Can you take me to the door, please? Can you take me to the door, please? Try that one more time. This is an older Unamas, but I haven't seen it in a very long time. So the uh, clown car is super heavy, and look at all the, oh man. Just look at that. Just look at that. So we just have to wait here to go through the door as the clown car slowly descends. All right, it can go through. That's right, it goes through the donut blocks. Interesting. Again, I haven't seen that in so long. It's nice seeing some of these older Unamases that I haven't seen in well over a year or two. Lastly, let's take a look at Bowser at Last, made by Eggman SMM2. What do we have? Oh, we have a floating piranha plant. Walking on the purple goop. Got a floating Koopa. Nice little little compilation ow going on here. Oh, I'm dead. This time we know to go up right away so we don't die. What do we have? We have Bowser sinking. <laughs> uh, okay, it's this glitch. I remember initially seeing this one from Mr. Elliot, but I saw it in New Super Mario Brothers U style. It had Bowser running and then it had you know, all of the Koopalings running as well. I didn't actually know it worked on other game styles other than New Super Mario Bros. U. Something strange about this, though, is Bowser's sprite. If you look at Bowser's eye, for whatever reason, the running animation, I don't know if it's because Bowser's in water or whatnot, but his eye was flashing with a white pupil occasionally, which I don't... I don't know why. And there you have it, my friends. That's another Uno Moss episode wrapped up and in the books. I know I personally saw a lot of things that I had never seen before. We saw some older Uno Mosses that I haven't seen in a while, which is always really cool to revisit. Overall, just a really fun episode. There's definitely some things that I thought were patched, but apparently aren't because you're still able to make levels using those weird glitches. So mess around see if you can find something new friends as always a huge shout out to all the level creators finding these uno moss levels and making them thank you guys so much for making this so much fun for me hope you guys have a great rest of your day and until next time take care